director of the Mount Pleasant Community Development Corporation um, and the director of the Mid-South Barbecue Festival. We, the Mid-South Barbecue Festival started about um, seven years ago as a scarecrow festival here in Mount Pleasant. It was intended to be a community activity and a chance to give uh, some of our nonprofit organizations in town um, a chance to raise some money for their organizations. Um, we evolved into the Mid-South Barbecue Festival last year it, as a licensed KCBS event it, with 12 barbecue teams, backyard and, um, and pro. And this year as a KCBS um, sanctioned event, we have 36 pro teams and five backyard teams. This has evolved uh, much quicker than we thought it would, but we're happy to have them here and uh, love having all of the people from all over the world here in Mount Pleasant, Tennessee. Judge Weatherford discovered phosphate in Mount Pleasant, and it was the richest phosphate ever discovered in the United States. And this soon became a rip-roaring mining town. The phosphate plants hired anybody and everybody to shovel the phosphate right off the top of the ground. And it was a bad little place to be on weekends. There were no churches here at that time and very few women so as a result there was gambling, killing and drinking. One Sunday morning there were 13 bodies discovered on Bluegrass Avenue and it was that time the town leaders decided we've got to clean this town up. The payroll here at that time exceeded the payroll in Nashville and it was carried to the plants by four guards on either side and usually hauled in a wheelbarrow. They paid them on Friday, 
because they didn't know if they'd be alive on Monday okay. morning to come back. They to sent to Texas for a Texas Ranger, and he came. Now, he is credited with cleaning up this town, but then, too, he got a little anxious one time when he was questioning a pair of people over a robbery, fired a gun, and it parted the woman's hair on top. So they decided it was time to get rid of him and get rid of him, they did. But by that time, law and order had come in, churches were built, and it was a good place to live. It's always, since then, been a good place. Kenny Anderson? Well, we judge the wings, and uh, just like the young lady said, like a box of chocolate, you just never know what you're gonna get. And it was, it was all tolerable. Pretty good. No outstanding. I got one that was better than others. Okay. I'm Adam Southern. I'm the county's library director, so I get to come out and do fun stuff and like eat wings every now and then. And um, I have to say that. Uh, a lot of great contenders in the contest. Like Kenny said earlier, there was one that was outstanding, and I think our scores will indicate that. I'm Susie Curry. I'm one of the local insurance agents. Um, we had a lot of good wings. It was a great competition, but yes, there was one that stood out better than the others. Okay. I look in there. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm Linky Mare, and uh, I mean this was this was a lot of fun. I mean it's the first time I judge a wing contest, and it um, it's amazing to see what great flavor compounds some people come up with. Um, great flavors, great textures. Um, there were, was definitely one that stood out that I will pay twenty bucks for for one wing. <laughs> and I, I'm pretty sure it was <laughs> pretty sure it was universal. So yeah, great wings. Uh, my name is Kevin Eady. I'm the principal of the Mount Pleasant Middle School Division of Performing Arts and had a very good time with uh, these ladies and gentlemen who were judging with me. Uh, very good in applicants or entrants that we had here. Uh, I'm like everyone else. There was one that really stood out uh, from the others and uh, had a great time and I will try to get a box on my way home. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Start with. Okay. Well, I'm Brianna Boshears, and I'm Miss Mid South Barbecue Queen. How did you get elected? Um, they wait for this. Mm -hmm. Um, I win the pageant. Okay. <laughs> now tell us about what you ate. Some chicken. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you got to say. Yeah. All right. Exactly. Should we just do this silently? Yeah. So start wherever. So that lid doesn't pop yeah. up. Thank you. Eleven fifty. Plenty of time. My favorite was actually number one. <clears throat> um, all of them were, were pretty good entries, but number one, it had a good balance between savory and sweet for me. The texture where I bit into it was just perfect. I couldn't ask anything more from that. Um, least favorite on that plate was, was number two. It was just had a slight bitterness to it for me, and the texture was uh, a little bit chewy and a, a, got a big bite of skin on that one a bit into it as well. My favorite was number five. I thought the seasoning was well balanced. Uh, it was well cooked. Uh, the juices flowed uh, very clear. Um, my least favorite was number two. I thought it did need more seasoning, especially salt. My favorite one was number five. It had a 
very, very good flavor. It was very moist. Um, I think it was seasoned with curry powder. I really enjoy curry powder. And I, I, my least favorite one was number two. It was dry, kind of rubbery like when you bite into it. And I like number one and three as well. They were very good. Five entries were really outstanding in my opinion. The first one was just a, a mild uh, chicken barbecue with the sauce. Second one had a little bit more of a, a less of a sauce and a little bit more of a seasoning and smoky flavor, but it tended to be a little bit on the, on the dry side. Uh, third one was actually really outstanding, a good blend between smokiness and sauce. And the last two really kicked it up a notch or two with uh, some spices, uh, cumin and an and other spices that really add a, added a kick to it if you like a, a more spicy barbecue sauce. All right, my favorite uh, in looking at these would be three and five. Both of them were excellent in my, my opinion. Uh, number one, uh, it was a good flavor, good texture to it. One side was cooked extremely well, one side was just a little bit undercooked, so I did mark it down slightly on it. Number two was a rubbery uh, texture to it. The flavor was, again, it was just kind of a bland a bland flavor to it. Uh, number four was a, also a good entry. Uh, it was very flavorful. It did have some flavor to it. Uh, did have, it was just a little bit under on the uh, texture. Uh, but other than that, it, all these were uh, good entries and some, some, some of the better chicken we've eaten. All right, number one, uh, the problem I had was with the skin. It didn't pop. The meat was a bit chewy. Number two, uh, same thing. It was uh, also a little undercooked on one side versus the other. The skin on number three was excellent uh, as far as the bite through. The tenderness was there. Number four, same thing as far as the bite through. Uh, there was a little slight um, uh, tug on the meat. It wasn't quite as tender as I would like it. Uh, and my last one was uh, seasoned a little heavily, um, only on one side of the chicken. And you're sure they're all separated. Yeah, they're all separated. And then flip them around, the other ones around. The other direction, there you go. Oh, look, the box is shut. We'll make, we'll figure it out. Because you've, you've got a really interesting art in it. I like the spices on this one pretty good, and it looked good, but it was a little overdone. Uh, I like this one really well. Um, it had just the right amount of smoke and heat and sweet to it for me. Um, this one I didn't like as much, the spices and stuff on it. And it was really overdone. It fell apart. <laughs> uh, this one, I like the flavor of it. But they left the membrane on the back, and so it was hard to uh, get a bite off of. And this last one, it had good flavor to it. But they left the membrane on it too, so it was a little hard, hard to get a bite off to judge. Okay. I think my favorite would have been um, the last one. Um, it had the best pool on it and great flavor profile. They all had good flavor profiles, and I think um, this one could have uh, came off the heat a lot sooner than it did, the third one. It had a great flavor profile, but the bone just, the meat just fell off of the bone. Uh, I liked the second one very well. Uh, as soon as I bit into it, I knew I, I, you know, I liked it pretty good. The least would be uh, the number three. It just fell off the bone and uh, just, didn't taste that good, so. I was actually most partial to number one. I thought the appearance was great. The texture was perfect, and they all tasted pretty good, but this one might have tasted even a little better. And my least favorite was the third one. 
and had mostly to do with the texture. It was almost impossible to take a bite without the whole thing wanting to jump off the bone. And there we go. The number one, number two, number four, and number five, I thought were uh, were good. Uh, my favorite was the uh, probably between one and five. Uh, number three, I uh, did not like the particular taste in particular, and it was uh, certainly overcooked in my opinion. I like number two overall was probably the best, and number three was probably the least. Now, Rattle and Snap is my favorite antebellum home. It could be because I was there 11 years. <laughs> No, I was the executive director there. I lived in it all day long, though. <laughs> it was a destination stop for the tourists that came through, and we were really busy. We were the destination stop in this county. It was owned by Eamon Carter Evans and his wife, Denise, and we had tours from 9 o'clock in the morning till they left at night. We had parties for politicians. We had weddings, anything beyond reason. <laughs> birthday parties for children, and everything. Mr. Evans and Mrs. Evans soon decided they could not live in the mansion anymore because people were looking in the windows and everything else. So they bought another house on the property and moved there. And then it was a tourist attraction. Uh, it has a very wonderful history. It was ordered burned during the war. Did you know that? The man went in called George Polk and his wife Sally and the older and younger boys that were still there to tell them to get what they wanted and get out. He was there to burn it. Now, we don't know who the commanding officer were, was, but we do know he was a Mason. The man went in, the, the soldier that is, went in, saw a painting of George Polk. His hand. On his finger was a Masonic ring. He goes back out and tells his commanding officer hey, this house is owned by Mason. He rescinded the order. It was not burned. In fact, a soldier was left behind the rest of that day and night to stop any stragglers from burning it. They knew a landmark when they saw it. It is a national historic landmark. It was used as a barn after the war for 37 years. And it finally was restored and used as a tourist place. Is that all the park? No. Oh, that's okay. Can we take? We we'll take this one out because it ain't got no bark on it. Go ahead if you want. Yeah, I don't want that piece. Switch it for something else. Oh yeah. All right, number one. Um, appearance not really good. He didn't put a lot of effort into his appearance. He's put sauce all over it, not well placed. But taste and tenderness, spot on. The second entry, same thing with appearance. Didn't do real good with the way he presented it. But um, a really good tasting bark, tender meat, well cooked. The third entry, mm, kind of bland, uh, not particularly tender. Fourth entry, um, a pile of pulled pork, didn't put a lot of, you know, pizzazz into the look. Tasted okay, got a big wad of fat in it, uh, scored okay. Fifth one, mushy and bland. I thought the first one was pretty decent. It was pretty good. The uh, appearance looked okay to me. I'm okay with the sauce on it. The second one, uh, gosh, it just turned to mush in my mouth. I mean, it just went to nothing. I was really disappointed. It tasted like it was overcooked. Uh, third one was okay. I was I was good with it. I scored it well. The fourth one had a strange taste to it, a strange wang to it, almost medicinal taste to it. I don't know exactly what it was, but I, I didn't like it. And the fifth one was really good, I thought. Actually, I thought it would have been the best on the plate, except for the fact that my burn in that I got on it was hard as a brick. The slice was good, the pull was good, but when I got to the burn in, I almost chipped a tooth trying to eat it. So I really wish if when they do that, they leave those burn ins off if it's going to turn out like that. Otherwise, I think it would have been the winner for our table. Uh, the first one, presentation, I agree that 
throwing some barbecue sauce on there doesn't necessarily make it pretty. I wasn't the tenderness was good. Um, I think the barbecue sauce overtook the the flavor of the pork. Um, the second one got a burned in. Um, it was a little tough and really didn't have a lot of flavor. The third one, uh, it was tender. The flavor was good. It was nothing special. Uh, the fourth one, pulled pork, kind of mushy, uh, nothing significant. It was good. And the last one um, probably had the best of the flavor, but I agree with the, the burn-ins were just too hard to eat. Well, for number one, I uh, it, it, the presentation was okay, but uh, the barbecue sauce and yeah, it just it, it just really didn't do anything for me. The second one, it honestly looked like that they just had a bunch of pieces and threw them into the in, into the plate randomly. Um, the flavor was okay, but it did kind of turn mushy in my mouth. Um, the third was really good. Um, it had a it had a good flavor to it. The fourth one, the pulled pork. I wish there would have been some, some variety, uh, some maybe some slices and um, some um, other, other presentation. But the taste was okay. And the fifth, I believe, was probably the best tasting. It was just it has slight salts to it, and I really enjoyed that. And so, for me, the fifth one was really the best tasting. Number number one for me was uh, a little bit dry on the sliced. Uh, it looked okay in the box. Number two, I had a uh, real big piece of bark on it, which was made it very difficult to eat. But the flavor was good once you got past that. Three, to me, I, I liked a lot. Just the flavor of the pork came through well. Number four, I thought was injected with maybe a pineapple juice or something, and that flavor kind of overtook the meat. And number five, I was really overall my favorite, but it was hard to chew when you got to the bark. Said <clears throat> number one, said first off, pork wasn't one of our best entries today. The first one, the taste, it was okay, but it wasn't nothing to write home about. Tenderness, you know, so so. Number two, thank God it looked, it tasted better than it looked in the box. But uh, it was, the piece I got was mushy or whatever and all. The third one, mine was a little dry or whatever. Bark had some flavor to it. He could have used a little more sauce or something to, you know, maybe help the flavor of it. The third one, like I said, you know, he just shredded a pork butt and put something on it, and like the rest of them, there's some kind of whang or off flavor to it or whatever. He should have tasted it himself, surely, before he turned it in. Like I said, the fifth one, said, wasn't nothing to brag about, but like I said, it turned out as being the best of the entries we had today, is, in my opinion. As a whole, I thought the uh, plate was pretty average. Uh, they all lacked a lot of good smoke flavor and, and that sort of thing. Number one, as you can see, is pretty much a salad. Uh, it was uh, nice in the box, but tough getting it out. Um, had decent flavor. Number two uh, was a little tougher, but not bad. Uh, but again, nothing to, uh, to get wholly excited about. Uh, number three. Again, uh, a decent flavor, but nothing that I thought was particularly outstanding. Uh, number four was my favorite. Uh, I thought it was nice and moist, a lot of beef flavor to it, uh, and was a, a very strong entry. And number five, uh, the burnt in was absolutely delicious, but when you got to the slice, it just uh, didn't live up to uh, its initial building with the burnt in. So that was my take on that. Number four was my favorite. I liked the taste and the texture and tenderness was good. Number five was my next favorite. I liked the taste. It was a little dry on the slice. Number one, two, and three was bland, no taste, and a little dry. One, two, and three, um, I agree with the others were um, a little dry. Um, I liked four and five the best. Um, four did have more of the stronger beef flavor, if you will. 
I agree with the rest of the table, but n- number four just made me happy to eat. It was uh, it's one of the better briskets I've I've had. It was juicy and and it was well seasoned and well flavored, and you got that real beef that came through. It was it was really remarkably good compared to the rest, especially so. Uh, number four and five were my favorite. They were very balanced with a good smoky flavor. And I liked their flavor profile, a little sweet mixed in with a little spicy as well. One through three um, were more of a uh, average entries. Well, they needed a little bit more splice, spice and a little bit more flavor to them. I thought number one had the best tenderness on the whole, ta- on the whole plate. Uh, I didn't care a whole lot for the flavor. Number two was on the dry side with, without much flavor. Uh, number three was pretty good, but it was just kind of average. Number four was probably the best one on the plate. Uh, it was a little overdone, but had a good flavor to it. And the last one, uh, I liked the slice really well, but thought the burn in had way too much sauce on it to, for a beef entry. Hi, my name is Jacqueline Johnson. I'm from Mount Pleasant, Tennessee. We had a barbecue festival here October the 17th, a backyard contest, and how I got involved in it. My husband loves to uh, cook. He loves to uh, test different barbecue things, so I developed a love for uh, the barbecue from my husband wanting to do it. Um, He wanted to uh, do something that would bring the community of Mount Pleasant together, so I suggested why not we try to have a barbecue competition and we went to the city manager which is Michelle Williams and we talked to her about our idea and she was all for it. She told us to get with Donna Marenzi which is uh, head of the CDC in Mount Pleasant and we just all started meeting in our first year we had 12 teams which included backyard this year which is two uh, We have 36 professional pro teams, and we have five backyard teams. And so far, it's been a great uh, time, and I've enjoyed doing it. And we plan to take it as far as we can. Uh, There's no telling. uh, We had 36 this year. We want to double that next year and double our backyard uh, entries next year. My name is Macy Lanham. I'm 17, and I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. And my mother's side of the family is uh, from South Carolina. And we used to cook whole hogs down there. And that's where we started barbecuing. And I have celiac disease, so I can't eat wheat or gluten. So I try to make everything and help my dad wheat and gluten free, like inject the meat and stuff. I hunt and I fish and I cook the things that I harvest and I am currently not in school, but I'm considering going to cosmetology. I like home design and I like cooking. Whose team is this today? This is Barbecue Up. Whose team is that? House of Q. And they're. Who's the pitmaster? Russ Lanham, John Coon, the partners. No, I help. I'm the sidekick. <laughs> Coffee cart just walked. It was great. Just there, we had, we, it was cold out, and nobody had Bring it to him. That's well, awesome. And make everybody happy. Exactly. Besides, I need exercise.